Race number five is the first leg of the six up here, and the fifth of the program is a class four. It's over the 1,400 metres, headed by Ezra for Tony Millard and Alexi Bedell. Leap of faith, John Size, Joe Mario. Wide gate, he finished off last season, though, with a win, as did Villa Fion, an angel of my eyes, both winning on their final starts. Same could be said about some street somewhere. David Hall, Blake Shin, the man in the saddle uh, there. We have Telecom Rocket, Chung Wah Spirit, Roman Imperial with the blinkers back on, and down to Kel Mimi Wins, who also signed off with a win last season. Mark, that was in Class 5, though. Comes up into Class 4, where he hasn't had any luck in the past. As far as Chung Far is concerned, Leap of Faith, Chung Wah Spirit, and Joyful Cheers are the three we need to take note of. And our speed map has a good to slow tempo with the smiling face having his first start out of Griffins in front over Telecom Rocket, Angel of My Eyes. Favourite's going to be handy enough. Kel Mimi wins, Leap of Faith, and then lines of three. Roman Impero, Joyful Cheers, Chung Wah Spirit around Heng's decision and the white nose of Dionysus Colin. His Leap of Faith, nice quiet work for him. It wasn't really pushed out towards the end. He was keen though, he did want to go a bit faster. Uh, barrier 14 is just going to be a little bit tricky for Leap of Faith, but... His work's been good leading into this contest. Now, this horse was uh, progressive last season. Another one that really improved from start one to start two. He's only had the two starts. He's a winner last time, and he looks like he's off-season well, and uh, he's um, working nicely. In some street somewhere, a horse had changed stables, and he's going really well for the new stable. It was a very impressive win uh, last time, beating So We Joy Barrier 1 for him. He should run well, and he looks good. All right, yeah, we'll have a look at him in a second as well. At the trials, though, first with uh, Ezra and Dionysus Colin, who eventually broke through at Happy Valley uh, towards the end of um, last season. But uh, Ezra Paul had to be pushed out here a little bit. Yeah, niggled along the whole way, wasn't it? So it wasn't the best trial from Ezra. The cross noseband will come off him. He does run well fresh, though. He has won fresh in the past. Um, at the back end, of, oh, at the start of last season, I should say. Now, he, he did hit the line strongly enough, but he was pushed all the way. So, jury's out a little bit on that trial. That race he won at the start of last season, Paul, was a class four, 1400, just as the race is on Sunday. Dionysus Colin not uh, asked for too much in that trial. Here's a favourite, though, Mark. Angel of My Eyes with uh, bottom weights. Kelmimi wins. He does it really nicely here. Angel of My Eyes, Andrew, straight to the front, not over extended in the run to the line, was just a little green in that previous start where he was still good enough to win. Is pricked here, Paul. Lovely trial. Yeah, really nice trial, and I really like the way he hit the line la last start as well. He wasn't favoured. He, he started at 8.5 uh, for a Zach Purden mount. Uh, it wasn't like um, there was a lot of money for him, but he still ran really well, and I th it's interesting that Zach has stuck with him. All right, we're going to have a look at some uh, race form here. Back end of last season, a leap of faith who broke through for his uh, maiden win. But this was over a mile, Paul. Back to the 1,400 metres first up. Telecom Rocket and Ezra not too far away. He was, it always looked like he was going to win a race, this horse. It did take a while to, to get up and actually win it. He's got barrier number 14. And he does look like he's a, you know, he is a star in the making. They're starting off with 1,400 metres. I still think he can run quite well fresh 1,400. I've only got him in on a minor line, though. Might have said that Angela Myers was a way to win that previous trial. He was not tested in the trial, he just cruised to the line. Telecom Rocket had a great season last season in the market, just missed Leap of Faith again. Wasn't overly taken by his previous trial either, Leap of Faith. All right, OK. Uh, some street somewhere, again in uh, race course action. This is the win. Chung Wah Spirit, probably you could make excuses for him. Not his, certainly it's not his best efforts, uh, Mark, but some street somewhere breaking through for the stable. In a field of uh, 14, Andrew, 13 of them had trialled leading into this race on Sunday. Some street somewhere hasn't. So he's obviously pleased David Hall enough that he hasn't needed to be seen again since this win. Runs past Armour Star, Golden Mission getting through between runners late, but uh, this was a very dominant performance, Paul. Yeah, and he, look, he's only won the twice, but he's only been with uh, David Hall for two starts for two really good runs, so I expect him to run well. All right, but no surprises, Paul. Angel of My Eyes is favourite here for the first leg of the six-up. And I'm with the favourite as well, Angel of My Eyes. I think you can get uh, favourite punters off to a good start for the six-up. He's in, uh, on top to beat some street somewhere. I think he's been very consistent. Ezra's got that good... Uh, sort of fresh record, although the trial there is the jury's out a little bit and leap of faith for fourth. So four, six, one and two. Four as well. Angel of my eyes. Impossible not to have him the way he found the line. He just wanted to hang a little bit at the 150 metre mark last time, straightened up and then ran past them to score. Zach Pert and Danny Shum. He's drawn out in barrier number 10. The win was from gate five. Telecom Rocket's very consistent. He had 14 starts last season for one win and five placings. Leap of faith in some street somewhere. Four, nine, two and six. Clean sweep for the favourite, uh, then Angel of My Eyes, uh, very hard to oppose, I think, on his run last year and his trial as well. He goes on top for me.